Hi everyone and welcome again to today's edition of the Doghouse GTV6's Pet Adoption Show. And I'm Dottie Sharkey and I'm Carol Ann Hines, the Behavior and Training Supervisor at the Pasadena Humane Society. And we are here to show you some great, great animals all set for adoption. But first let's ha see how we did on our last show. So, Dottie, our first uh, animal today is a rabbit. Uh, this is Bobo. Cute little thing. Okay, um, brought in by Jamie. Yay. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, a number is 362302. This is an unaltered adult male. Uh, looks really, really friendly. And um, Jamie's been sitting here uh, off camera and, like, the just super gentle, He's mellow. He's a good boy. He's very, very likes oh. to be pet. I have to oh, really? Him. This I way? This way? Is that a good way? Hi. You know, his little heart We're is behind just the beating, ears. beating, beating, oh, beating. Behind okay. the ears. I've yeah. never had a rabbit. So. Very cute. So what's the care of a rabbit? What do we, what do we need? Well, I know we have special litter for litter boxes. And their teeth never stop growing. Right. So um, it's good to have like a wooden block. I, I think they actually make special things yeah. that you can buy too, but you can use like a wooden block that'll help keep them ground down. Um, and uh, then just keeping them away from electrical cords, because if you don't give them the wooden block, they'll find something else to chew on instead, um, which electrical cords would not be safe for them to, to chew on. Um, this rabbit is an owner turn-in. I'm not quite sure why, uh, but the adoption fee is $30 for the rabbit. Well, the owner brought this little guy to the right place. Exactly. He yeah. can get a new home and lots of love and attention while he's here. So he's, he's a pretty confident little guy, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, <laughs> such a good color. Like I feel yeah. like a lot of the this rabbits nice. are white and black and this is a nice fawn color. Yeah, one. So soothing. So what's his number again? Um, his name is Bobo and he's 362302 is the A number. Um, and again, an unaltered adult male which means he'd have to stay here for about a day about after. a day to get yeah. uh to get neutered before That's he goes out to his new home <laughs> right yes yay boy. he's so friendly wow all right uh we're on to cats one bunny now on to cats uh, this is summer and summer is uh, a number three six two six nine three a spayed five-year-old female thank you judy <laughs> yes brought in by our lovely judy That's our right. volunteer um <laughs> And uh, Summer is a polydactyl, which means she has five toes on the front. I don't know if you can see it. Um, Joan, who is our new feline behavior technician, uh, was saying that she has to clip, she clipped the toes when they oh. came in because the thumb was mm -hmm. kind of growing in um, okay. a little there bit. So something you'll have to pay attention to with her. But otherwise mm -hmm. there's no adverse, nothing just unique for a polydactyl. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing, um, else that you need to do differently with a cat that has five toes. Except that they're a little famous. <laughs> yes. With being the Hemingway, Hemingway yes. line of, of cats. Yeah. Not that they, they live there still this in yeah, Hemingway in uh, Key West, Florida. Mm -hmm. So, so um, if you visit Hemingway's home in Key West, Florida, I think all of the cats there. Of you. Yes, there's a lot a of lion. polydactyls. So, oh. <laughs> And she is already Enough spayed, so she's exactly out. She's out the door as soon oh, as you as adopt as her. You um, she's five, so she's a good age. She's maybe a little uh -huh. bit more mellow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's got of her kitten stage, so she'll just yeah. hopefully want it. it. Says she loves yeah. to purr. She's an active cat. I can feel it. She's very yeah. active. But yeah. as we've adopted a cat at four years old and lived a long, mm -hmm. wonderful life, yeah, and, uh, active cute. life. So five, and so five is senior for senior then, right? If she's five, is she five? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So just the so, microchip. So just $20 yeah, so for that. For, she's free if you're 60 years or older, thanks to a grant we have here at Pasadena Humane. 
Yes. And uh, the only thing is the microchip, which is so important to have, and that's $20. And otherwise, so. she's $70 uh, dollars for if you're not a senior. Mm -hmm. um, she does actually have, and our next cat is going to be a black cat as well, but on the 13th of every month, we have a black cat adoption. And so the fee then is $13 to adopt any cat that has black on it, and she would qualify. All right. Yes. Can't um, do any better than that. I know. For yeah. a lot of love. Yes. Um, okay, so again, it, this is beautiful summer, our polydactyl, and her A number is 362693, and she's a five-year-old spayed female. All right. Um, our next cat is Mila. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. A number 361577. Oh, she is an all-black, one-year-old, one-year, one seven-month-old. So, not to, oh. we're, we're exact on that she one year, seven months. It's um, beautiful. Yeah, I don't think there's an ounce of white on her. She's oh, all she black. is silk and satin oh, black. Oh, she's Look at so this. pretty. Beautiful cat. Oh. Um, she what is, is her name? Uh, Mila, M I L A is what we have her listed oh. as. Yeah. Oh, she, look how friendly she is. She's very friendly, perky ears. Yeah, for such a young cat, mm -hmm. one year, seven yeah. months. Um, we, uh, she's extremely affectionate, which is, she's proving that point Look right now, that. and enjoys sitting in lamps, again, proving <laughs> that point right now. Um, and her adoption fee is $70. Um, again, she would qualify for the black cat, but I'm, I don't think she'll be around I, here on the 13th. I think she'll so probably get adopted unique. before then. With those jade eyes. Yeah, very Oh pretty. my goodness, she is just beautiful. She's going to be a big Look at that. Yeah, she's in her little lanky stage yeah, right now, I think, well, before she grows up. But cute. she's so friendly. I have to and pet her, too. Her. I can't resist. I can't oh. resist. Oh, yeah, and that's what um, Joan, our feline behavior technician, said that as well, that she just immediately starts purring when you pet her. So that she just loves. She, oh, she's a happy little it. girl, yeah, isn't she? Yeah, she oh. is. She's, like, made for TV. Yeah. She's got oh. the perfect. Well, this is a very special... So if you want to have yeah. something really special in your home, absolutely. Here we are. Yeah. So look at that. She's looking at Zara. Oh, Zara. So, yeah, she's so pretty. Yes, I can't resist you. Um, so, so uh, yeah, Mila. She's unaltered, so she would have to get spayed before she was adopted. Um, but that only takes a day or so, and then you can take her home. And there's not much recovery time when they get. Uh, spayed or neutered, mm -hmm. uh, especially when they're this this age. So you get you pick them up the next day and bring them home and start enjoying her her lap. She time. kind of takes me to Egypt. Yeah, <laughs> she she is. does have that look. Yep, absolutely look majestic. Yeah. So, but she's so cute. <laughs> Her yes. personality is cute. Mm -hmm. So what's her number, I guess? Her number is 361577. And again, it's Mila or me. You can probably pronounce it a number of different or ways. Or you can give her any name. Any name. We like. named her here. So oh, that's sure. not the name she came in yeah. with. Um, yeah, 361577. Our last cat today is Princess. And Princess is a number 362231. Um, princess is, um, I think, fed like a princess, so she's a little bit overweight, but um, I think we'll just have to, uh, just a nice diet would, would manage that well. She's a 15-year-old spayed female, so definitely a senior for senior, but our, her medical report is pretty remarkable, so she's, um, she's doing really well for 15. She's, she is remarkable. Yeah. She's she, in wonderful condition. Oh. She's actually in our communal room, and I, I forgot to say oh. that all the cats that we've seen today are really good with other cats. That's nice. Um, but she actually does really good with the other cats in our communal room, which is an open space where they can all kind of be together. Mm -hmm. um, She's extremely affectionate and enjoys sitting on laps. What did Judy call her? A cuddle? A cuddle bug. Cu love a bug. A love bug. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, oh. And still has that curiosity like mm -hmm. cats have for 15. So um, you can just tell she's curious about everything going on. But She will go. She will live well into her 20s. Oh, she's, for sure. Yeah. She's, she's mellow. She's in good shape. Yeah. And I have to admit, she's I've happy. seen heavier yeah. cats than this one, so she's oh, you she's a my little house. overweight. You but <laughs> I've got a I've got a Charlie who eats a tad yeah. too much as well. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's hard. Mm -hmm. I know. So. She's got pretty eyes. As no, we well. do our best, but 
but she seems very very content and as, as you said healthy yeah she, yep she's got a really yeah. good health report for 15 years um, you're amazing so she'd be a perfect senior for senior mm -hmm. which is only twenty dollars for the microchip um, and she's already mm -hmm. spayed so she's out the door right away if you adopt her you can take her home the same day yeah. um, and, and sometimes as 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 we get up in years. Uh, it's nice to have a mellow cat and not have to worry about tripping over a little kitten. So this mm -hmm. is uh, a wonderful cat for for someone maybe a little yeah. older. Yep. So. And again, because she gets along mm -hmm. with other cats. If yeah. you already have an older yeah. cat that maybe needs a companion, or uh -huh. she's very she's sweet. A love. We had some good cats on today. We sure did. Yeah, some we very sure gentle did. ones. I so, bet we get a adopt it report the next show. I bet we do yeah. too. Yep. And I unfortunately we didn't sell them. They sold themselves, but they're uh, they're all very friendly and getting along with other cats and speaking of our next show, we mm -hmm. have to switch to dogs. Our canines are going to be back. I Not, know. We usually have two this year, three of our canines from Glendale uh, to promote the canines in the park event in October. So we're pretty excited about that. I'm excited to and be they a part are of too. it. Yeah. And do you know how excited the police chief also wants to be on the show? Nice. Yes. yes. So hmm. uh, we are thrilled. We are thrilled. So it's Great. going to be a fun show. And that's the next. Our the next, next show. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, right after right after Labor Day. Wonderful. So. Um, okay. So back to Princess, who's sitting here so nicely. Uh, her A number again is three six two two three one, and she's a spade, fifteen year old female gray tabby. Okay, well it is back to school for a lot of our kids and that means back to school for our animals as well. So we have a great, great, great round of dog training classes coming up. Um, all kinds of new classes. A couple of the new classes we're doing is a wallflower class, which is for our shy and fearful dogs. So if your dog is a little bit afraid of uh, people and doesn't like being pet or uh, this is the class for you. Um, they can also be shy around other dogs and it just kind of puts them in a nice calm setting to get them used to um, people. We also have reactive rovers classes for dogs that are reactive to other dogs on leash. Um, and uh, basic obedience, which is your regular sit down, stay, those classes, but we make it lots of fun in our group, group classes. So that's another one. Intermediate obedience is coming up uh, through the rest of the year. I think we have a couple of those classes. That's for your more advanced classes. We've also started agility. We've got nose work. There's uh, canine good citizen prep classes at the Arboretum. Um, so the Los Angeles Arboretum and Botanical Gardens and Arcadia. All kinds of classes coming up. Um, we also have a puppy preschool class which is for dogs that are two to four months and a puppy kindergarten class which is dogs for four to six months. Also for puppies, we have a puppy uh, social on Saturday mornings from 9.30 to 10.30, which is an off-leash playtime for dogs. And that's only $10 for the general public and $8 for if you're a current student. We have all of our classes up on the website. If you want to go to the Pasadena Humane Society website, we have all of our classes listed there through the rest of the year. Um, so you can register and they, they last for five weeks. Usually the agility classes last for six weeks. Um, the cost is $130 or $150, depending on which class you're taking, but we do have discounts for volunteers um, as well as, as our staff here at the Pasadena Humane Society. So it's in our new Behavior and Training Center, which is a, a wonderful place to have classes, um, and you can always talk to the Behavior Department if you have any questions about what class is right for your dog. So back to school time, all kinds of opportunities for your dog to learn as well. Okay, that was Yay. great. Yay, yes, Thank I know, you. sorry, something I'm super passionate yeah. about because I'm, I well, teach some of those classes. It's so. important, it's important. Yeah, so yeah. here comes our very first dog. This Hi, is an Lucky, Archie Lucky. Hi, Lucky. This is Hi. Lucky, and Lucky's number Thank is you. A36144. Hi, sweet four, girl. Four, oh, nine. Hi. Look at how friendly you are. Oh, yes, he's and very friendly. A black Laboratory Retriever Labs are wonderful yes. dogs. Yes. Hi, just, sweetheart. Uh, how are you? So, so friendly, obviously friendly. Mm -hmm. Very we, friendly. Lucky hey, and I have a little smart. trick together. Lucky, oh, let's, let's see, see if she trick. does it. Lucky, Lucky. Lucky. Up here. You know how to do it. She's shy with the camera, I think. Well, Lucky. 
She loves belly rubs. She that's does. So uh, she does. Hi, but uh, she's actually Good the best girl. with uh, as the only dog. But wouldn't you just love her as your only dog? Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, yep. And I think that's just her age. You know, yeah. she's a little bit older. She tolerates other dogs, right. but she certainly just doesn't want to like play around with a puppy. You know, she's ten, so she's in her golden years. She is Aren't definitely. You? Good girl. Um, Pretty it's active for 10 years old. Yeah. Very, very, very spunky. Yep. She's been in my office quite a few times and really? she sits and chews on a bone and Aww. greets people that come by. And so she's, um, she's very friendly. Yeah. So she's... she'd be a wonderful dog to meet other people with mm -hmm. in your neighborhood. And, um, oh, that itches. You know, every. Yeah. People in the neighborhood know the dogs. They they might not know the people's name walking them, but they sure know all the yeah. dogs. It's a wonderful way to meet meet your neighbors, and her adoption fee regularly is one twenty five. But she's a senior for seniors, so if mm -hmm. you're over the age of sixty, she's only twenty dollars, oh. and yeah. uh, and that's for oh. the microchip. Oh, which here is comes so the belly rubs. Oh, looking for belly rubs. <laughs> So you are a lucky dog, yeah. and we know you're going to be adopted. She's yeah. got lots of years left oh, in her, I think. She's look got, how lean she yeah, is, she's and, and active and happy. So uh, Good girl. If you want to cheer up your home and have a, an incredible greeter at the door when mm -hmm. you get home at night, or um, what, a wonderful, what a wonderful face to meet there looking at you. Good girl, aren't you, Lucky. Aren't you lucky? Yeah, it's a good girl. As I said, this is just a, just oh. a great, great Here breed. It is. And, and if you, you want a lap dog, oh, you have goodness, a lap gracious, dog. Is that right? Oh, goodness <laughs> Yes. Yeah, she does like to. What? Okay, come down here. I think okay. she just got a bath, too. Yeah. She smells super clean. Oh, she's great. So let me give you Lucky's number again. It's A361449. Okay, here comes our next dog, and this is Ralph. Last time we had a larger dog, and this is our smaller Hi, dog Ralph. of the day. He's a black Parson oh, Russell oh, well, Terrier. Hello. Uh, <laughs> likes to sit on laps. Oh, it does appear that way. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing up here? Uh, enjoys so going cool. on long walks. Mm. Boy, mm. we have some dogs that would get us in great shape. Yes. Yep. They? And um, he Good has a job. very distinctive bark. Is that, uh, that's usually with uh, Russell Terriers. Yeah, so. you know, he's in a corner kennel. So he, uh -huh. um, as people and other dogs are going by, he just um, likes to let them know that he's there and get oh. our attention. Um, okay. So, but it's not, it's always directed at something, not just, mm -hmm. not just barking just for the love right. of barking, it's, you know, he's uh, usually barking, wanting to get our attention. Yeah, alerting. Uh, yep. Yeah. And he actually was in our, uh, we have a uh, shelter school on Wednesdays for uh -huh. our volunteers and we did a small dog off leash play group and he was part of it. And you should have seen him just running around being a crazy Crazy boy. Yes, you oh, were. You were. Yes. He likes everything you said about him. Yeah, yeah. And so. he did really good with the other dogs, too. And so. mobile unit. He's been so on a mobile unit. Mobile yeah. unit. We have a mobile unit that goes out, and uh, they do well, and they're, they're, they're usually the pick. They're special when they're, they yeah. go on the mo mobile unit. We the love mobile. the mobile unit because yeah. it really tells us a lot about the dogs and how they'll be in the community and in your home. So uh -huh. it's always good information for us. He looks perfectly content. He does, you know, doesn't he? he oh, he's sitting to, on a leash too. Uh, he, mm -hmm. I think he'd just pick a lap, any lap, and he'd be just as, uh, mm -hmm. and his adoption fee is $125. And, um, and we have just Good a wonderful job. store here at Pasadena Humane where you can just stock up and get everything you need. Yep, and the, the day so. that you adopt, you get 10% uh -huh. off anything you buy at the store. Wow. So yeah, so that really makes so. a difference too when you're getting new. Are you going to get down? So 10% okay. off on toys. <laughs> yes, toys. When and you adopt a dog. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that <laughs> oh, excuse you, excuse you. Mm -hmm. So I'll, again, Ralph is only two years old, an active little guy. And uh, <laughs> although uh, we well, did, I was just going to say bark. that's a, that is distinct. It's kind of this, it's kind of a little raspy yeah, there. Yeah, it is a raspy. Yeah, bark. he wants to sound like a, a big boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, well, let me give you Ralph's number again. It's a three six one three six two. Okay, Isn't he graceful. Okay, leash laws. The city of Glendale has a municipal ordinance that requires dogs to be on a leash in public areas unless the area is marked as an off-leash area. Although you may feel you have control over your dog, even when the leash is off, unusual things can happen that may cause your dog to run off. So the leash laws are there for your dog's protection. And so we ask that you please observe the leash law 
and avoid not only a citation, but um, the most important injuries to your dog. And this is especially, especially in our park areas. I, I was at our Duke Magian Wilderness Park, which is a wonderful place to take your dogs for walks. And there was a little dog there at dusk, and the woman did not have it on a leash, and I couldn't help but go up to her and say, uh, you know, a coyote could just come right down and, and with your little dog. So she did, she did put it in her arms. So uh, the Glendale leash laws are for your protection, dog's protection. So uh, we thank you for the leash on your dogs. So speaking of a dog, mm -hmm. <laughs> here comes our very last guest. And this is, hold on, I have to get my little paper. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, Dylan. Hi, oh, I scared him. Hi. And Dylan's number is A360678. And he is, he is a brown Labrador retriever. Is Wait a minute. Eight months old. Eight so months how big old. is he going to get? Mm, he'll get bigger. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. He's uh, only would, eight months old. Yeah, I would say he might double in size. Wow, OK. Um, it's I you know it's so hard so. to tell, but he's got some pretty big yeah. paws, and for eight months mm -hmm. old, he's still got a, probably another year, mm -hmm. at least year and a half to grow. Um, he's doing really well mm -hmm. actually right now, but he would certainly be a dog that you would need to keep on mm -hmm. leash um, because he is a puppy and mm -hmm. always inquisitive yeah. and running off. And I always say with the leashes, it's important like you may trust yeah. your dog, yeah. but it's everybody else's dogs and other things that exactly. you don't. Exactly, exactly, and. I was walking my neighbor's dog. She what was on vacation, doing? and he saw Puppy. his friend across the street, and he just started running, and I lost him. And I was really embarrassed, you know, that that uh, that I I didn't take. Care. Oh. You know, I wasn't really What's careful, this? but it just What's shows this? you how they can oh, race off like that. that? Uh, so this little guy is playful, energetic. Good. I know they've uh, been working on his sits and downs, so, so I was just going to um, see how the volunteers. And he's super sweet and cooperative, so he'll be he'll yeah. be really. Easy to train. Yeah. Is that your this best is, an, is this an unusual color, coloring? For um, you know, his, his <laughs> hair might actually change. Oh, it uh, might as change. It grows. But he's okay. a chocolate lab, so he's kind of. It's almost mm -hmm. like a iridescent brown. Almost. He's got his beautiful different. coat. Yeah, and he might be mixed with something. Yeah. It's so hard to tell. Yeah. When they, um, well, we already know that he's just very special. Yeah, he's very, very friendly. Cute. And yeah. Yeah, and extremely playful. Yeah. Look and at this little guy. Our volunteers love to work with the with the puppies, so uh -huh. I'm sure he probably already knows his sit. He sit. Good. Oh. Can you go down? Volunteers get a star. I know they always do so well <laughs> yeah. teaching our puppies. So. Good down. Okay. Good job. He is just adorable. He is just adorable. Yes. He'd be a good one for the back to school coming into our our training classes because he's a puppy, so he needs lots of training. Um, but it, he's he, looking all around for more treats. He definitely shows he, that he's got the ability to learn. <laughs> you sure do. Don't well, you? Yes. We did it. We did we another did show it. again. Yes. Are we uh, done already? Then we're on our next show. Uh, okay. Cut it off. Oh, let me it's give okay. you his number again. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Dylan, I'm sorry. I should have given oh. your number again. You don't. He's a puppy. Oh, he's a puppy. <laughs> this is what puppies do. Yes. Did I not say so, he was going to knock over the flower so, pot? Um, I, yes. So this is uh, Dylan's number is A360678. And um, just, just a delightful. I, I have a really good feeling. That next show, we're going to show everyone was adopted, every one of these wonderful animals mm -hmm. that have been on the show. And uh, again, I just wanted to let you know that our next, our next show, the canines will be here, all three Sit. Glendale canines, uh, to promote the canine in the parks event, and uh, along with our police chief, um, Robert oh, Castro, yeah. and... Uh, and the dog handlers, and it's going to be an exciting show. So we hope you look forward to it. Yeah, I know I'm excited but for it. But in the meantime, if um, if you haven't seen an animal on here today that you really, really uh, didn't quite quite lock eyes with, or is not exactly what you're looking for, please come visit us down here. Uh, but uh, you can look at our website at PasadenaHumane.org. We are all over social media. Our phone number is 626-792-7151. Uh, both the phone number and especially our website, if you've lost a pet, uh, it's, it's a wonderful way 
to look on our website and see that little face looking back at you and know it, know that your pet's being well, well taken care of until you get here. But the very best way is to please come visit us. We are at 361 South Raymond Avenue from Glendale. You take the Glendale Freeway. You get off at the Del Mar exit. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take a left on. I get tired towards the end. <laughs> Uh, take a um, left on Del Mar, right onto Raymond, incredible parking structure, take just a quick right, and there we are. And it's just a wonderful place to visit. So we, we hope to see you here. And uh, as I mentioned, we're on, what, all the, all the social media, our producer Zara does a, a wonderful job. So, uh, and that's it for our show today, Carol Ann. We, yes, we did we it. Did it. And, Yay, uh, I'm excited for next yeah, month. And, and, Thank everyone, like Jamie and, and uh, Henri, our camera director, Tim, Zara, our producer, and Judy and Andrea, and, and, and of course Patrick, our editor back at GTV6. So again, thank you for helping us help the animals. See you next time. <laughs>